Hi everyone, Tyler Jensen here with another Prayer Life devotional at 1245. Today is Thursday, May 13th, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, so today I'd like to talk about uh, the um, a Bible verse from Acts. It is Acts chapter 1, uh, 1 through 11, and uh, it talks about um, Jesus' ascension into heaven following Easter. You know, um, there is, we all know, of course, um, the three days um, Jesus dies on the cross for us, and then he is taken up into heaven on the third day. Um, but what we, what often gets kind of, um, oh, is not as well known, um, I would say, is the um, that there is quite a period of time in between Easter and um, Ascension where he comes back to the world to talk with the disciples, to give them their mission um, for what they're supposed to do um, before he uh, ascends again into heaven. And so, uh, without further ado, here is the Bible verse for today. In my former book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus began to do and to teach until the day he was taken up to heaven, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself to them and gave many convincing proofs that he was alive. He appeared to them over a period of 40 days and spoke about the kingdom of God. On one occasion, while he was eating with them, he gave them this command, Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised, which you have heard of me speak about. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Then they gathered around him and asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. After he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes, and a cloud hid him from their sight. They were looking intently up into the sky as he was going, when suddenly two men dressed in white stood beside them. Men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? This same Jesus, who has been taken from you into heaven, will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. That ends the Bible passage for today. You know, I think it's just a really um, kind of interesting um, passage to talk to. I, For the life of me, I can't remember the name of like the movie documentary that I had recently seen on one of the streaming, streaming services around the time of Easter, um, which kind of covers this period, covers the, um, you know, Easter um, and the... Um, basically, it goes from Good Friday is the, at the beginning of the um, the film, and it goes into um, Easter, and then it also takes the end of the film, kind of covers this um, this time after Easter, before and, and during Ascension. Um, and you know what I don't think it's mentioned in the Bible all that much is just. Um, the reaction that the um that the apostles must have had when they saw that Jesus had returned um from death um you know this film did a good job of showing that he is the messiah but to these people he was also um their friend their teacher and it just um you know it had a huge impact on them to see him come back um and then he gives them this mission that um, all of us are asked to um, ask to hold to to be God's um, to be God's witnesses and to um, in throughout the world um, that we are called upon to do um, His work and to spread His news throughout the world to others. Um, you know, and it's just, uh, it's something that uh, really, you know, it began with these people, but it's it's lasted throughout these 2,000 years or so 
of Christian faith is this call, this mission that we have for us. And, you know, the other thing that speaks to me is, um, you know, the disciples ask, so are we going to get the, or is God going to restore the kingdom to Israel? And Jesus kind of, as um, as he did throughout the gospel, um, I thought as I'd been listening to the um, gospel um, since I'd been coming to worship on um, a consistent basis to um, kind of hear through that um, and listening to the um, pastor's messages and the scripture readings, um, you know, <laughs> Jesus is almost constantly having to correct these disciples and kind of chide them into um, remembering the big picture and to stop looking at their own lives and their own, you know, these, these worldly matters and basically saying, uh, that's not for you to know. Um, basically, here's your job. Um, here's why it's your job. And you just leave that to, um, to God to, to know about. So, you know, it's a call. I think, I think the message that I got out of it, I get out of it is that, um, you can't control or have, um, know everything about what is going to happen in the world. Only God is omniscient and knows all. Um, but you have to have faith and you have to just do your little part, um, day in and day out. And that will make for a better world. So, yeah, that's uh, all I have for today. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this um, prayer life. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Um, good luck on fishing opener this weekend. And, um, yeah, peace be with you.